Get ready to match the stars. Donald Ross, Brett Summers, Charles Nelson Riley, Isabel Sanford, Richard Dawson. Thank you. And Betty White. As we play the star-studded Big Money Match Game 76. And now, here's the star of Match Game 76, Gene Rayburn. Johnny Olson, ladies. I love you, Russ. I just fall in love all over again when you put on Russ. Rust looks good on this set because there's a lot of rusty spots on this set. <laughs> there's a spray that can remove rust, you know. Oh, there is? Yes, you would be naked in a second. <laughs> you didn't bring any of it in. No, no good. Sorry. How are you, my dear? That's fine, thank you. How are you, my dear? <laughs> I'm waiting for Mabel Norquist. Mabel Norquist. Girl, I'm just waiting. She said she'll be here soon, so let's get on with this. Oh, all right. <laughs> Catherine Robinson and Linda Wright are two players. How are you? This lady has won five thousand six hundred dollars. Right. And uh, I guess, you know, uh, anybody can use that amount of money. Oh, yes. Have you got some good use you can put it to? Yes, I bought a house, and it needs a lot of work. You bought a house and it needs a lot of work. Well, yeah, I need a new garage, door, a new kitchen floor. Oh, well. Like <laughs> you could buy ten kitchen floors with that amount of money, couldn't we? Right. And she's being challenged here by Linda Wright, who uh, has had her first question, and now she's ready for her second one. Are you ready for that, Linda? Yes. All right, we'll give you your round two question in a moment or so, but right now, this. <laughs> Hello there. Now, I'll push this button, reveal our second round questions, and ask Linda to make a selection. A, please. A. Everybody plays. Ralph is a real male chauvinist. Oh, 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 oh boy. Shame on it. He keeps his wife chained to the blank. <laughs> Ralph is a real male chauvinist. He keeps his wife chained to the blank. Good, there are so many terrific answers to that. I can only think of two really good ones. There may be more. I can think of four. Really? But I guess, excuse me, Charles, while I go for the obvious. There you go. You got it. That's okay. me? Oh, no. Yeah, that's a good one. Rhett's ready. Donald's ready. Charles? She might. This one. Here we go. Linda Wright. Ralph is a real male chauvinist. He keeps his wife chained to the... Oh, I can think of two. You can think of two? And I'm going to ch uh, choose kitchen. Choose kitchen. Just for the heck of it, what was your other, your second choice? <laughs> Bid. Bid. She's sweet. She's blushing. She yeah. said bed. What do you say? She said kitchen. I don't know if Linda's right or Linda's wrong because I said stove. Was well, stove? In the kitchen. No. Well, you've never Can't seen a stove in the bathroom. <laughs> or have you? Yes. <laughs> yes. What do you say, Brett? Keep oh, his wife chained to the kitchen. Linda, you should have gone for your second choice and blushed in spite of it uh, and shamed the devil. I said <laughs> bad. Bad. Okay, got to match the remaining four to stay in the game. Linda, Charles. I also said bad. I'm bad, so that means Catherine wins the game. What do the rest of you have? Bad, 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 bad. Lots of bad. Okay, here we go again. Now, Linda, I'm sorry to see you go so soon. Hope you had a good time. Yes. And we've got some gifts for you, together with our thanks for being here. Linda Wright, Thank ladies you. and gentlemen, Thank goodbye. You. All right. Ready? Yes. Well, you've done it before. You're a veteran at this now. Let's just plow right ahead here. We pulled a recent studio audience, and we got their best response to this. Blank. Fry. F-R-Y, and the answer they gave most often is worth $500 if you match it. If you match the answer they gave second most frequently, you get $250, and the third gets you $100. Now remember, they can help a little bit, so let's uh, find out what kind of answers you're going to get from them. Brett. Boy, I've got three. I can't read my second one. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's, oh, I know what I'm going to, how about, uh, 
How about fish fry? Fish fries, one. Isabel. That's what I was going to say. <laughs> oh, here, I have two other terrific ones if you're interested. <laughs> she can't read the second one either. <laughs> Small. Small fry, Ooh, you one. kiss a neighbor's daughter. <laughs> Whose song was that? I have no idea. Okay. <laughs> uh, Richard. French fry. French fry. <laughs> there they are. French fry, small fry, fish fry. You want one of those? Mm -hmm. Or maybe there's another thought rattling around in your skull. Uh, I'm going to go with the one I thought of also. That Isabel gave small fry. Small fry. That was a great song. Bing Crosby and Small fry, uh, where Johnny, you Mercer go now? Johnny Mercer wrote the song, but somebody sang it with Bing, <coughs> or he sang it to Johnny somebody. Mercer. Oh, Johnny Mercer, yeah. who? Donald O'Connor. Donald O'Connor. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, it was a marvelous fry. little record. Let's find out if Small Fry is up there, and if so, <laughs> where? <laughs> Send us a photo and a complete resume, and we'll see what we can do for you. May we see the one hundred dollar response? Fish fry. That was Brett's answer. All right, small fry is what we want, the answer that Isabel gave you. Here is the $250 number. Small fry, you got it. Congratulations. There we go. What do you think, audience? French fry. That was Richard's answer. All right, let's see if it is. French fries. May we see it, Earl? Yes, it is. You've picked up an additional two fifty, which means you have five thousand nine hundred and fifty dollars, and now you're going to play for ten times two fifty or two thousand five hundred dollars. Remember to collect. You've got to match one exactly. Richard. All right. Here we go. You face me. I'll get the big question here. It's worth two thousand five hundred. Richard. It goes like this. Blank. Marks. M A R X. Blank marks. M A R X. Okay, he's finished. Now, Catherine, an answer from you which you think will match his. What do you say to that? There it is. Blank marks. I hope this is the right name. Carl Marks. Carl Marks. <laughs> yeah. He wrote a, a book called Das Kapital. Oh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> 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 Richard, she says, Karl Marx will match you for 2500 Most ridiculous thing I ever heard. Groucho oh, Marx. Yeah. Groucho. You didn't think of that. Yeah. You know, yeah. what? What did you say, Brett? As a joke, I wrote down. Oh, <laughs> As a joke, yeah, I wrote down, Carl laughed and started to throw. I thought that would never be in a million She years. said it. And I wrote down Sam. Sam Marx. <laughs> the same yeah. thing you were doing. Well, I held it up for her to look at it, <laughs> M-A-R-X, just to make I sure, it, you know, it would, might make the connection with Groucho, but it didn't. Anyway, Catherine, you got 5950 You're going to play another game later, but right now, this. Let's welcome a new player, shall we? Here is Beth Marie. Hello, Beth. Hi. Good. Now, yeah, Beth, we want to know who you are and all that. I'm 21, single. I live in Malibu. I'm an actress and a graduate student. I like to dance and cook, and I'm happy to be here today. All right, do a little cooking and dancing right here. <laughs> all right. <laughs> and you do it at the same time? <laughs> Good luck to Beth Marie. Thank you. Here we go. Bing. A or B, Marie? B. A, B, she says. B for Beth. For Malibu. The butcher said to the psychiatrist, he says, Doc, I can't separate my social life from my work. As soon as I meet a new girl, I blank her. <laughs> oh, wait, wait a minute, the butcher, wait a minute, now, because there's a butcher. Read it to her, would you? Uh, the, the butcher said to, to the, the psychiatrist, psychiatrist, Doc, comma, I can't separate... Oh, you don't read quickly enough. I'd rather hear it from G. As, oh, this time I said, I can't say, as soon as I meet a new girl, oh, I... Got her? Okay. Oh, there are two terrific answers. Very good. Very good. Oh, oh. Yes, indeed I will, Beth. Anything you say, my dear. Ready, Don? No. Yeah. Sure you are. <laughs> what? Well, write something down there. Uh, Let's hope he writes faster than he reads. Dean, repeat the question so lovely Beth Oh, yes. Has the time. butcher said of the psychiatrist, Doc, I can't separate my social life from my work. As soon as I meet a new girl, I blank her. 
and it's a butcher speaking to his psychiatrist. Okay? Don, you ready? Don! Okay. See, this butcher is lying on this psychiatrist's couch. And he says, oh, Doc, I can't separate my social life from my work. As soon as I meet a new girl, I blank her. Carve? Carver? Yeah. Oh, I think that's too sadistic. <laughs> Carver. Boy. Wow. Oh, that poor fellow. May I ask Beth a question? What? Is Beth married? No, she's no, not. She's I don't think she has much of a chance. She's a... <laughs> she's a graduate student majoring in Marat Saad. <laughs> Is Marie her real second name, or is that a hot stage name? No, that's her real name. That's her real name. Yes. Why, why, why do you ask? He's curious. Oh, well, hold your card up. Show and uh, tell. Pork her? <laughs> you know, he started out so great, and it's been downhill ever since. <laughs> but don't worry, you'll get worse. <laughs> what do you say? Talk about plunging into the Great Lake of Dumb. <laughs> <laughs> now you see, what does a butcher do? Well, he hanged her. Oh, uh, he hung. Hanged or hung? Hung her on a hook. Well, Put her on a hook. That's what that they do. is a wonderful answer. I don't want to hear another word from any of you. She says carve, Charles. What did you say? Go to your rooms. <laughs> uh, I have a show stopping audience, please, Eugene. <laughs> yes. I chose Way. Way is good. Way is a good not response. really a showstopper. No, but it's <laughs> three people were lovely. Beth, way is a good answer. Isabel. Way. As soon as I meet a new girl, I way her. What did you say, Richard? The same. Way. Her. Way. Way. What do you say? I'm over 21. I'm married. I'm not a religious fanatic. I live in Brentwood, and I well, I said way. <laughs> okay. Those ways were heavy answers. Say? That's right. So now they let's see how Catherine does with her first round questions. Listen, the first ones are kind of tough, so don't feel too bad about that, my dear. Hey, did you see the headline in the Hollywood Gazette? No. 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 Would what you like to hear about it? Sure. Yeah, yeah I'm glad you asked. It says, Betty White gives up Alan Ludden for blank. So many cute things. Right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you got it. I love Alan. He gave me these nice chains. Oh, he did. <laughs> or he gave them to Betty, and then I stole them. I see. <laughs> Here we go, Catherine. Huh? The headline in the Hollywood Gazette: Betty White gives up Alan Ludden for. The man she's always kissing, Gene Rayburn. For me? She's starting something. <laughs> that girl's a troublemaker. She's also been peeking. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you say? I think Catherine is out to tie Beth. <laughs> I said uh, security. For security. Betty White gives up Alan Ludden for security. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Wait, what, wait, what, wait, 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 wait. Watch this. She, by tearing his up, but the implication is that his is rotten and hers is better. No, not necessarily better. Oh. She's a tearing freak. Tear anything she can get her hands on. First he got dumb, now he's gotten dull. Yeah. <laughs> no, I said, she has given him up for life. For life. Okay. <laughs> All right, Charles. I have another Gene show-stopping crowd. <laughs> for those, you wish. For those five lovely people who last liked my last show-stopping. I said Ed Asner. For Ed Asner. Guy who plays the editor on the Mary Tyler Moore now Show. Now I'm down from five And to who has three. been on this program. <laughs> Betty White gives up Alan Ludden for Gene Rayburn, according to Catherine. <laughs> match game. For match game. Close. Well, it's yeah. That's a good deal. <laughs> One inanimate object to another. What do you say? Oh. <laughs> oh. 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 I'm not picking on Alan. All right, Richard. <laughs> if they do offer you that, take it. Though. I did. <laughs> I already have. <laughs> She's uh, not a religious fanatic, but she gave up Alan Ledden for Lynn. <laughs> for Lynn. <laughs> Betty White gives up Alan Ludden for Lent. 
That's 40 days, is it? Yes. Half September, April, June, and, and Ricardo uh, Montal. Yes, yeah. okay. I gave him up for, or as they say in Texas, <laughs> Lint. <laughs> Lint. I gave him up for Lint. That's it. So there we are at the end of round one. We ain't got nothing. I got plenty of nothing. Okay, round two coming up at first fifth. Today's consolation prizes are first for Manhattan, a wardrobe of nature knit men's shirts, unusually comfortable because their knit of a patented fabric is mostly cotton. And a selection of 52 varieties of fresh, delicious Dunkin' Donuts, jelly glaze and cake donuts, something's always cooking down at Dunkin' Donuts. And from Amity, a ladies' three-piece ensemble featuring the ultra-French purse, feels easily removed from hitting the apartment through the change purse. Amity. And bath towels from Stay Puff Pink, fabric softener, leaves your washable soft and fresh and towels more absorbent. Stay Puff Pink, soft and absorbent. You see, there was this old lady who lived in a shoe, and she had so many blanks, she didn't know what to do, evidently. So, my scheme 76, starring Gene Rayburn, continues in a minute. We're ready to carry on here with round two. Round two coming up, no, Beth. B. Everybody gonna play. <laughs> Everybody's going to play now. Round two. This is Beth. When the bionic woman falls down, she bounces right up. Because she has a rubber blank. <laughs> when the bionic woman falls down, she bounces right up because she has a rubber blank. Now, I think you've got a winner here, Beth. I'm not sure. No, don't do it. No, no. <laughs> Use the euphemism of your choice. <laughs> uh, nice, very good, dear. Okay. Beth Marie, look at oh, me. Marie. When the bionic woman falls down, she bounces right up because she has a rubber... Rear end. Rear end. She falls that way. She says... Rubber bottom, depending on which way you fall. What do you say? Well, for a while there, I thought the two girls were just interested in keeping their parking spaces here. <laughs> but we have a winner. We there have a we bottom. Go. There's one for Beth. And you, sir. Sir? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I get, sir. I was staying at in a hotel. I don't know who they thought Why? was in my room. Oh, yeah. Every morning I would make a phone call, and the operator would say, Yes, sir. <laughs> Who does she think is up here, for heaven's sake? Well, she heard your voice. Two o'clock in the afternoon, she said, yes, ma'am. Mm. Bottom. Bottom. To the best. All right, Charles. Beth is rolling. Another crowd pleaser, Jean Rear. Okay. <laughs> three, three, three. When the bionic woman falls down, she bounces right up because she has a rubber bottom. I'm a little more rugged with what I said, but. But. <laughs> Now, well, that's a first. What do you say? <laughs> I saw her falling the other way. I said, boo. Oh! oh Bang, yes. She bounced twice. Yeah, that's right. Day. Bing, bong. <laughs> Hello, Betty White. I had her going south myself. Instead of this kind of a business, it was bazoom. Fell on her face. Okay, so Beth, that's four for you, which is not bad. And now, Catherine, if you match four, you will tie. If you match five, you will win. This is it. When the police told Dumb Dora they were taking her to the cooler, Dumb Dora brought along a blank. <laughs> when the police told Dumb Dora they were taking her to the cooler, Dumb Dora brought along a blank. All right. Finished, finished, finished. Wait a minute, I'm not finished yet, honey. Please Where told Dumb Dumb. Told Dumb Dumb. Dumb Dumb, we're taking you to the cooler. She says, wait a minute, I gotta bring along my blank. She brought along a. All right. I will wend my way. Well, I'll be finished. By the time I get there, you will have finished writing an answer, Brett. I finished it, honey. I'm all okay, I'm all yeah. shaped up over here. When the police told Dumb Dora they were taking her to the cooler, Dumb Dora brought along a blank. Um, heater. A heater. Yeah. <laughs> she gave us an opposite. That's not so dumb of Dumb Dora. What do you say, Donald? Catherine. 
This is a heater. Dumb Dora took an overcoat. An overcoat? <laughs> They're taking you the cooler? She brought an overcoat. You know, the cooler is a euphemism for jail. You know that. Right. Okay, what do you say? Do you know, you won't believe this, John. I really thought all I could think of was picnic lunch. Picnic you know, lunch? <laughs> you take those coolers... <laughs> Oh, when you yeah, put your little, with, with your little thermos. vodka martinis and things right, okay. in, no, I mean, your Coca-Colas Potato and all that. Yeah. I, su I said you brought along a nice warm nice coat. Nice warm coat. Two coats so far, Catherine. And now you got to match the others, Catherine, to stay in the game. Charles. Fur coat. Fur coat, so best Marie wins the game. What the rest of you have? Okay. Coat, blanket, and Come on down, boss. here for a moment or so while I talk to this lady and tell her she's going to leave here with $5,950. Congratulations to Catherine Robinson. Goodbye, my dear. And while she's spinning off, we'll spin a few messages for you and then come back. Hello there. No, I just want to say goodbye there. <laughs> Listen, you were all splendid. Well, thank you. And when the next time we get together, you'll be even better. <laughs> You're not just saying that? No, I'm not just saying that. I'm only kidding there. You're all marvelous, and we couldn't do it without you. And I'm very grateful to all of our celebrities. We'll be here next time for Match Game 76. Gene Rayburn, goodbye. <laughs> This is Johnny Olson speaking for Match Game 76, a Mark Goodson, Bill Tubman production. Stay tuned for Tattletales next over most of these CBS stations.